Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday, it means we're using Cosmos. So much Cosmos, whether it be on DMD commentary or here on Daily Duels, it's just so much Cosmos. God, you would think that I'm freaking Cosmo Mastery with all the Cosmos that you're seeing here. But we're not only playing Cosmos, we're going to talk about Cosmos. So, I decided that when it's something major, like a whole bunch of new cards, like, on a group that are being released that have synergy in our group with each other, I thought, I decided that, you know what, uh, instead of just, uh, you know, taking forever when it comes to, uh, getting all of them reviewed on card review, because I'm gonna be talking about, uh, the Cosmo cards today, the new ones revealed in Breaker of Meta, <clears throat> instead of, you know, taking a millennium to do that, uh, cause what, I do two card reviews a week, so with like four new cards, it would take me like two weeks. Uh, if it's something like a major, like a group of cards, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about them on Daily Duels. Of course, you know, on my channel, I don't have like a news segment. Uh, and I kind of felt like if you're just gonna watch the news, uh, on the channel, you know, on like Vexicase or Mega Capital G, then why do I gotta do it? To just repeat myself? A card review, you know, I can focus on one card instead of, you know, having to be really broad with it. But I can go ahead and talk about the cards here on Daily Duels. We're going against uh, heroes here, and I'm not the biggest fan of uh, dueling the heroes. I don't like Dank Law at all. <laughs> I don't like the Dank Law at all. I kind of want to go after him and kill him. And I'll go ahead and summon Jerry Gito. I knew you were going to go ahead and match change, so that's totally fine. Uh, I want you to summon the Dank Claw. Summon the Dank Claw. Oh no, he's going to summon Anki. Alright, that works. Yep. No, that's fine. That's fine. Get your search on. Because I'm going to kill him. He's dead. With my Forbidden Lands and Jirigita, like, you're dead. You're dead. I'm gonna get my freaking search on. Sure, I'll love you. Continue. Uh, do my replay. Attack you. Activate you. Increase you. And then I will also activate this on you. Oh, I could have just lanced the freaking Chatham. It's just, it's cool. I keep on forgetting that you could do that. You can, like, block it and make it unaffected. You take all that damage. I'm gonna get my search on. Um, go ahead and get me, I'm thinking a Cosmo Town. Yeah, give me a Cosmo Town, because I'm about to banish my, uh, Farm Girl anyway. So I'm in Slip Rider, pop that, so. We're, we're sitting pretty. Like I said, I still like the whole attack affecting cards. I, I, I don't know, personally, I really like them. Better than the reasoning and shit like that. But, uh, apparently with these new cards, there's going to be a new, uh, version of, uh, all right, well, you only get its effect once per turn, only once that turn, so it does nothing. So. There's gonna be like a new version of Cosmo. So, you know what, let's just go ahead, hop right into it. Breaker of Meta, new Cosmo. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go backwards because uh, the kind, the, all the cards kind of work together and it kind of makes sense. So I'm just gonna review the cards, one individually and then as a group, and give my final opinion of them in this video. So let's go ahead and start off with Cosmo Joe. So, this was totally leaked. You can see the card. It's a super. I'm gonna put the link in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and actually look at the links. The, the, the links, the leaks. So, uh, first card is Cosmodro. Secret rare. They cut it off. They like literally cut the card. Like, I don't even know what the hell what that is. It looks really weird. Uh, it's a normal trap card that reads Target one. Ta target one Cosmo monster you control. And if you do, banish one card your opponent controls or in the graveyard, you can only activate one Cosmo Joe once per turn. Uh, this card's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, of course, you destroying your cousin monsters, preferably the ships, the bigger one, so you can go ahead and float off because uh, it's kind of a neg if you don't float because you're just playing this card, destroying one of your cousin monsters to banish a card your opponent controls or in their graveyard. Uh, it doesn't target, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good that uh, it doesn't target because, as we know right now, uh, you know, stay away from targeting and stay away from destruction. So, being able to not target, banish something. Not bad. It's not bad at all. So I, I'm totally fine with that. Let's see what this hero guy is gonna do. I say I'm just gonna kill your alias, just wreck you, go ahead and attack you directly. So I guess I can just go ahead and take like everything and every little thing away from you. I wonder if I can push for OKR. He's just gonna surrender. Yeah, he's just gonna surrender. That's fine. We'll uh, get another duel and be right back. All right. So let me finish talking about the Cosmodo. So. It's good that it's non-targeting, banishing, 
you know, and if they don't have things on the field, you just bench in the graveyard. Uh, probably gonna do it on your bigger cosmic monsters, like, you know, your, de your dank destroyer and your forerunner. Oh, side frames. That should be interesting. I uh, really don't see this deck that often, nor, you know, play it, so maybe he could teach me a little bit. I know that the field spell is the tip. It's like, you need the field spell. This one's when opponent monster declares an attack while well, you control no monsters. You can touch some of this from your hand and then do your cosmo shit. Alright. Well, that's inconvenient to say the least. <laughs> so he's gonna totally be able to uh, synchro summon and do his plays during my turn. So, fuck it. I mean, there's no point in not pulling off my plays, right? But I'll go ahead and activate my failed spell. <laughs> so, my biggest problem with uh, Cosmos Joe is uh, unless you're, you know, hitting one of your bigger ships so you can float, go ahead and float, if you hit one of the smaller Cosmos monsters, they go to the graveyard. And I don't you know, wouldn't call myself a Cosmo expert or anything along those lines. But what I definitely know is Cosmo monsters don't like their shit uh, hitting uh, the grave. You know, hitting the grave is like the worst spot. You know, I can't even get my shit back with Cosmo Town and shit like that. So, most of the special summon both this card from your hand and one separate monster from your hand deck or graveyard. And if you do destroy the, destroy the attacking monster at the end of the battle phase. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna get wrecked at the end of the battle phase, so I'll probably just go ahead and banish myself and hop out the way because I don't want my farm girl to die and go to the graveyard. I want, like, <laughs> I want my farm girl to most definitely. Wait, I thought. Oh, it ends the battle phase. I guess since I don't have any monsters to declare with, I guess they're just like, let's end his battle phase. Oops. I thought he would summon and then I would get to redeclare. That's weird. And now we're just waiting and then we're, like that was weird. That was really weird that I didn't get to, you know, when he summons his monsters, I get to redeclare. Like, that was just really weird. That was my bad. I know nothing about Cypherin, so like I said, I don't want my- I was gonna totally, you know, activate and hop out the way, but I didn't know it was gonna go down like that, so. I fucked up. Oops. I fucked up, people. I, I know nothing about Cypherin, I've never dueled against the deck, I've never dueled with the deck, so. My B. My B. Oh, so he's just gonna summon card card instead of you know coming after me with the clear wing, huh? That's fine. So this is banish. Sucks. It sucks that I mean this is in the graveyard. It's kind of just stuck there. It really sucks. Still got nothing. Still got nothing. So yeah, unless you hit one of the bigger ships, the smaller ones are in the graveyard. And that's, I don't like that, but I can see it with the, the other synergy with the other cards. So uh, let's go ahead and look at. It looks like Cosmo Dark Eclipse. This card looks like. Wow, he's just gonna card, 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 card. Like, I really do not like Cyframes when they're just kind of a stunny deck, you know? They're a really stunny deck that really doesn't play. Wow, I would love another monster, you know? One of my uh, psychics, that'd be great. I'm mad that I got my farm girl killed like that. I said at the end of the battle phase, I didn't know it was gonna work like that. This duel is really boring. I'm not getting anything, he's not doing anything. Nothing's happening. But, all right, and this is just perma banished. Like, that's inconvenient also. Alright, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. You're not even dueling. You're just banishing and doing your place. Boring. I don't like Cyframes. Ah, bear back. Get another Alright. Yeah, I didn't know. I literally lost that duel because I didn't know it was gonna end the battle phase and then kill my farm girl. I thought I was gonna be able to hop out the way and redeclare on his monsters. Like I have never dueled against Cyframes, and really tell you the truth, I'm not too blown away by what just happened. Anyway. Uh, this is Cosmo Dark Eclipse. It looks like a rare. Yeah, it looks like a rare, kind of like a, a Forerunner. So that's fine. We're going against DVDs. No surprise there. So, Dark Eclipse is a level 9 Dark Machine type effect monster with 3000 attack, 2600 defense. It cannot be targeted by opponent's card effect. So, another big shift that can't be targeted because we totally need more of them, right? <laughs> no. Uh, during either player's turn, when the trap card is activated, you can banish one Cosmo monster from your graveyard to negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So, uh, with all these cards having synergy, I'm dealing with a lot of the graveyards, so Cosmos will have access to graveyard police, because right now they really don't. Uh, you will have some Cosmo monsters in the graveyard, whether you uh, use uh, the other Cosmo monsters in the graveyard that I'll talk about, or you just, you know, Cosmo Joe and put them to the graveyard, you can go ahead and banish to uh, block a cat. It's not bad, it's not bad. So it can't be targeted, and you can block some trap cards. Of course, with Storming Mirror Force going uh, way up in popularity right now, I mean, it's not a bad, not a bad thing to do. 
Dude, he's going off. Dude, he's touching himself. Summon you, summon you, see you, summon you, summon you, you search you, you see you, summon you. You get that fact because you summon you, you search you, summon you, so you see you. So, like, oh my god, like, I don't know, this, that, this, that, giddies. They, they'll jump you. They will jump you. <laughs> they know that for sure. Yeah. So. Sure. Well, so I gotta deal with all of this. This turn. That's fine. So, I really, I don't think I have to worry about these guys. I think they just summon. We did this much on during the You can only use this much on turn. This card is a battle. With this card in your possession, you can target one covenant card in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. Right? You have nothing. So, in Alexander, he just special summons other DD monsters, so I don't have to worry about you either. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. So, I guess I'll go ahead and summon my farm girl, activate my Cosmo Town. No, because we're about to handle one of the monsters with Honest. Like, we are literally about to wreck some booty. We're about to clear up this entire field. No. We're literally about to clear up this entire fucking field. Which is not bad. Play honest. We take damage. I'll go ahead and search. Um. Uh. Well, I'm about to get you back. You're not really useful. Uh. I guess I can get a slip and then pop his covenant because I don't want him searching anymore. That wouldn't be bad. Because what am I about to do right now? I need normal summon. Hmm. Get you back. Summon Gank Destroyer. Pop one of his monsters. Attack one of his monsters. So. Uh, I don't really know who I want. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll get it. I don't know. I'll get Straw Man. I can use him later. You're dead. Then I'll go ahead and tag out. Summon that bank destroyer. Bank destroyer, go ahead and pop him. Bank destroyer, attack over him. So, once again, Cosmo's being able to just completely turn around and go to main phase two. Go ahead and activate it. Target one of my bench Cosmo monsters, return to my hand, give me my farm girl back. And let's just float down the river. Speaking of a big Cosmo ship, it's like to summon this. Finish reading this one. So, you have a common monster in the graveyard, you banish to negate a trap. And the Storm Mirror Force being up in popularity. Alright, that's understandable. Oh, alright. So I'm just gonna summon, uh, Mr. Leonidas. Alright, that's fine. So the Dank Destroyer not being targeted, and when I destroy, I float. I mean, I have a nice amount of protection, so not bad. And, uh, what else does Dark Eclipser say? If this card is controlled by battle or by card effect and sent to a graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. But, instead of floating, you add one level 8 or lower Cosmos in your deck to hand. Uh, what do I think about this card? I think Bank Destroyer is better. I think Bank Destroyer is much better. Uh, you know, the whole pop a monster card, whether it be your opponent's or you, or you pop your own to go ahead and commit to more OTK plays, it's all good. It's all good. So, I probably have to give uh, uh, the medal there to Bank Destroyer. You know, instead of something Bank Destroyer, I probably should just search for Slip rather than pop this, because he's getting his search off. He might be able to come back into this duel, I don't know. I don't know too much about DDDs either, so. Uh, if you guys are getting sick of Cosmos, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the suggestion next week and then after that, the week after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, do the polls and, you know, do a re-lineup and see if Cosmos stay or go. You know, especially with these new cards coming, uh, being announced now. Maybe you guys wanna keep Cosmos, but it seems like you guys are just kinda sick of Cosmos. Uh, you know, the whole, once again, these cards have synergy with themselves, but not really synergy with the current Cosmo cards, which I don't like. So, really not being, uh, I'm not really having much Cosmo cards in the graveyard with the current Cosmo setup. So, I'm really not going to get off that effect unless I play all these other Cosmo cards. And just the fact that it doesn't really float, you know, a Nim Nim movie, then he's like, oh yeah, so you float down to eight, you float down to Stark Shark. No, you, you search, you don't, oh, I didn't know, I didn't even know about this guy. Oh my, didn't even know about this big old guy. <laughs> See, I know nothing about DDDs. Nothing. So, I'm just side frames, DDDs, I'm doing them in decks that I've never freaking seen really before. And most of the time when I duel against DDDs, I just crush them because they power out of resources. But it seems like this guy opened up pretty well. You know, so I'm gonna get Dark Hole and that'd be pretty good. So, what does this guy do? Once, once per turn, when this card becomes an attack, you can target one D, and then equip it to something. I, mean, I, I don't know. I'll uh, go ahead and float it down the river. So, uh, Forerunner would be fine. Yeah, Forerunner. 
and I can still be able to handle this because I can go out and get my Dark Destroyer back. Summon Farm Girl. Farm Girl, attack over you. You take the damage, get the search. Uh, attack over you. Uh, banish Farm Girl. Like, yeah, I'm still going to be sitting pretty. It's sad because look at him. He's like completely outplaying me, out resourcing me, and yet I'm still going to be totally fine. So, uh, yep. So, you know, I banish Kaza Monster, face back to my hand. I'll uh, get my Dark Destroyer back. See, there's like no Cosmo monsters in my graveyard right now, so it's just kind of meh, to say the least. I could, I, wait, I could just show them in the back. No, actually, I want my pop on. I want to get my pop on. You can target one dude, you can have a turn of hand. If you do, equip one face up monster, if one controls this card, except for. Oh, but since you didn't have a DVD in the graveyard, you can activate your effect and equip me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, Farm Girl, get your attack on, kill him. No, stop asking me that. Probably should have set someone to removal. It's fine though. Um, I guess I'll get a slip because I literally have everything else. <laughs> so. so you're dead, and I'll go ahead and I guess I'll kill you. Like I'm literally just gonna clear up this entire field. So go ahead and activate you. You hop out of the way. Summon back. Dent destroyer. And destroyer, pop him. Like, you can go keep on storming the field, but I'm still gonna be able to just clear it all up. Like that's the crazy thing. I'm literally just clearing up your entire field every single time you do something. Yeah, I should have said one more move. Kind of giving away that I have it. Like, hey, you gotta deal with it, right? And now I got a forerunner and a dent destroyer. Like you're in deeper shit than you were before. So not bad. Yay, Cosmos, so good. So like I said it's another big ship. I'm not too impressed by it. Uh, the Emperor ship. I don't watch much Star Wars, but I know it's the Emperor ship. You're like, oh, it's the Dark Star. It's not the Dark Star. It's obviously not the Dark Star. It's probably going to be like the level 10 monster. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next, we have the, the X-Wing. So, it's Del Cosmo Delta Shuttle. It is a level 5 Dark Machine effect type monster, so it's kind of trying to fight uh, Slip Rider for uh, popularity. Alright. It's a uh, level 5 Dark Machine effect type monster. I'm not paying attention to this guy's plays at all. Like I said, if he, if he can beat me, uh, no, no, let me see you try, but if you can't, then let's go. <laughs> uh, 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense, so, you know, better defense than this, but this still has better attack, 23. Effect read. Once per turn, you can send one Cosmo monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then target one face up monster on the field, it loses attack and defense equal to the sent monster's level times 100. Alright, so, I guess it's, <coughs> it's supposed to be in the neighbor. Get your graveyard set up. Uh, the whole losing attack and defense thing's kind of meh. To, to say the least, it's really just kind of, hmm, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, you can send Cosmos and Monsters to your graveyard, then you get to go ahead and you know banish them for Dark Host to bot trap cards. Okay, now see the synergy, the synergy. Uh, and then it's fully effect. This, this card is destroyed by battle of the card effect, and since your graveyard, you can banish this card to special summon a uh, level four lower Cosmo monster from your uh, your deck. So it kind of floats like this. Uh, still, I think I prefer a Slip Rider, you know, with uh, Storm Mirror Force and a lot of trap cards, me just being able to uh, special summon this to pop. I think I prefer this. Uh, the whole sending to the graveyard thing, still not the biggest fan of that, still. So, every single turn, I, 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 I knock him down. This man just gets right back up. And the problem is he slips, uh, steadily losing light points in the progress while I float it up, so. You know, as soon as he's been like, oh yeah, my big guy, go ahead and attack, I'll be like, during the damage stat, number, uh, damage calculation, number removal, DD, I win. So, yeah, you can play with your yourself, your DDDs, all you want. Go ahead and play with your DDD, because, <laughs> have fun playing with yourself. So, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this guy either. I mean, he has synergy with the rest of the cards, but I'm not blown away by uh, him at all. Not at all. Alright, so, you're gonna go ahead and tap into my, uh, Far Runner. Then I'll just be like, oh, so he's just gonna go ahead and equip me, cause does he have a ride? So he's gonna return that to his hand and then equip me, right? No, he's just gonna take my uh, my dark destroyer. No, I'll wait till damage calc. Oh damn, you're like six thousand. Never mind. Holy shit, I didn't even notice you were like six thousand. So we'll go ahead and banish you. I'm gonna go ahead and summon a machine so I can get an effect on. I'll click that for me. <laughs> like, look at this floatiness. Look at this shit. 
Look at it. <laughs> so you're gonna get greedy with this. It's gonna attack this, and I'll be like, let me go over there and damage count, and it's like game. It's just game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not the biggest fan of this card either. Alright, next card Cosmo Soar Troopers. Uh, this, the, the, I, I get this reference. It's, it's Stormtroopers, but it's, and it's also the monkeys. So, from the Wizard of Oz. So, it's like, ah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Alright, we'll get one more Dolan, and I'll finish the, reviewing these cards. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Sorry uh, for the break there. You know, you guys probably didn't realize the break. You know, don't you just hate when it, like, logs it off and it won't let you log back on? Anyway, continuing the review, uh, we were at Cosmo Sword Trooper, so, I mean, this art, art is obvious. That's obviously the Winged Monkeys from the Wizard of Oz with Storm Troopers from Star Wars, so that, that one's easy. It's a level 3 dark psychic type mon effect monster, 1000 attack, 1000 defense. During any player's turn, you can bench this card for someone level 4 or higher Cosmo monster from your hand, so it's a level 3 like Farm Girl, it's like the antithesis of Farm Girl. So it's trying to compete with Farm Girl for the goodness, that's fine. Go ahead and summon that Farm Girl. Got some back row, suck me up, let's go. Let's go. Cosmo's let's hop out of the way back there, so. Or you could just play Solemn Warning. That works. And once again, freaking my farm girl's all up in the graveyard, which I hate when that happens. I hate when my farm girl's in the graveyard. You can't ask for a worse situation than farm girl in the graveyard. So you got a warning, you got bottomless? You gonna try to play bottomless on me? Or prob it's rental. Nah, I'm just gonna hop out the way. So Warning, Toronto, what's this, bottomless? Like, <laughs> the number generator is real on this duel. Can I activate both effects? Because I was summoned, so I'll go ahead and pop that and I'll float. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. Oh, it's a Dynamis card. Oh, alright, so it's Dynamis. Interesting. Now, this guy has done nothing but inconvenience me this entire duel, so. And summon Farm Girl. And go to battle phase. And once again, these Jerigidos are coming in with the power. I'll go ahead and special summon him, gain the thousand, and redeclare my attack during damage calc. Should be off, go up to 2500 and attack over you, take 400, get my search on. Um, thinking about. Oh, and you're just gonna quit. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> Alright, let's get an idol in there. Alright, no duel. So, Red Sword Troopers. Sword Troopers would totally help whenever they put my farm girl in the graveyard, because that's already getting annoying. So, uh, it's an individual effect. It's one per turn I could pay a thousand life points to target one psychic type Cosmo in my graveyard and special summon it. But yeah, get my farm girl out of the graveyard, because my farm girl just keeps keep on getting sent to the graveyard. That'd be nice. Uh, this card's not bad. Uh, I'm once again relying more on the kind of graveyard uh, uh, monsters. So like I said, there shouldn't be too much, and it kind of sucks that it's uh, more of uh, uh, the psychic. You can only get the psychics back. It kind of sucks, because it would be nice to go ahead and summon the ships back from the graveyard. But nope. Ah. Uh, no, I'm just going to block myself from destruction for right now. I want, I'm going to pull more back row out of you. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm just going to pull like all the back row out of you. Like, now I'm going to hop out of the way. <laughs> Like, dude, you're just gonna get wrecked. And then summon, pop another one of your back rows. Like, you're just gonna get destroyed. You're like, bottomless, you're just chain. Like, no, 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 no. You don't back row Cosmos, because Cosmos easily just hops out of the way of all of the back row goodness. So, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare? That's fine. That's fine. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. So, I'm gonna go ahead and float it up. Like, dude, you're gonna get wrecked. Like, use all your back row. Please. Please use all your back row. I'm gonna farm girl. Damn! Damn! <laughs> He's like, no, my back girl, I can't! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, it's too hilarious. Alright, uh, so, let me finish talking about Sound Creature. So, like I said, you pay a thousand life points, target one of the, the second type monsters in your graveyard. And right now, I mean, there's not a lot. Like, farm girl, if she gets into great mode, which hopefully she doesn't, uh, there's uh, Wicked Witch, which. You know, hopefully you'll go ahead and banish so she won't be in the graveyard and straw man and other stormtroopers. Like, it's just kind of meh. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and talk about w what engine I would run in the graveyard deck after I'm done reviewing the card. So I got uh, one more card to look at and then I'll go ahead and talk overall about the new card and what engine I would run. So let me get like one more duel. Bear back.
All right, this should be the last duel. Even though they just immediately scoop it up in like two minutes. Like, just hilarious. So hilarious. Wow, emergency teleport and stuff. Like, opened up pretty well. This hand is monstrous. Monstrous. So, oh, Light Swarms with uh, the most expensive deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Because <laughs> Minerva. Like, one Minerva is too, too expensive? No, it's Chaos Dragons. This is a little bit of Light Swarms. Yeah, I see the Chaos Dragon engine. $1,500 for Minerva and Giant Hand. Like, yeah, let's just all play them cards. Hey, they're free on here. <laughs> so you can summon that right in, which even if I emergency teleport and summon my farm girl, I can't really get over her. Alright, it's definitely gonna go ahead and Foolish Wolf, which summon back. Uh, maybe mill two more, go into Minerva, mill some more. Like, yep. Might as well play Minerva on here, because you know you can't afford it in real life. So expensive. It's like the cancer deck, like everybody playing it on rated on BN and they're running like two, three Minervas and it's just like, yeah, like you could totally afford that. You could buy a car with that. I think that's it. That card is worth the value of my car. Like that is like, no. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the last uh, new Cosmos reveal. So this is Cosmo Tin Can. This one's obvious too. It's uh, it's RTD2 with Tin Man, just like Straw Man was C3PO with Straw Man. I mean, Straw Man. Is that his name? Uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow, obviously. So, alright. No, no, it's definitely Chaos Dragons. Definitely Chaos Dragons. Light Swords. Should all Chaos Dragons. Like, okay. So, I mean, there's not much I can do right now. I hate that this floats. So, I think I want to go ahead and use Emergency Teleport, Summon. I might put these two back with, with Cosmotown. And go ahead and put these two back because I really only need this. So these two back. Put you two back and get two more. Alright, well, got the same card in the farm girl, so I guess I'll go ahead and summon farm girl. Farm girl, banish, summon dark destroyer. Dark destroyer, go ahead and destroy the light pulse. I light pulse will float, summon red him, kill red him by battle, and then get my farm girl back to my hand. Yeah. Things fine to me. Not really worried about the, uh, right in because I can't be targeted so he can't even cast stell me like you know really what's he gonna do yeah I, I gotta double kill I gotta kill the light pulse and then I gotta kill the redum because I can't have that loop because he's gonna loop it up and I, I can't have that so mmm all right well, still really got nothing to handle this situation I'll just kill you by battle even if I emergency teleport, summon like, what, straw man, straw man can, can I summon back farm girl? I can't, think can, I still can't do anything to the right, and you know, if I just emergency teleport, summon, still can't do that either, so. Go ahead and, uh, give me farm girl back. And I'll go ahead and set emergency teleport, just in case he gets around my dark destroyer, I can go emergency teleport, summon farm girl, and then farm girl summon my fort runner. So, yeah, tin can. Tin can, light. Uh, level 1 light psychic type effect monster, zero attack, zero defense, no stats, that's fine, because it is good, it's good. Uh, during either player's turn, you can banish this card to someone with level 2 or higher Cosmo monster uh, from your hand. Oh, wow, top deck that freaking BLS. Uh, well, I can't be targeted, so I guess you're just going to go ahead and banish your own monster. Wow, wow, alright, and then you quit, because that was dumb. No. Uh, rips that VLS, yeah, and he had the red, um, yeah, yeah, that was dumb, like, I can't be targeted, so I thought you were gonna, like, crash, you know, crash some of my forerunner, but, or you, I thought maybe you were just gonna banish your ride in, like, that was, that was dumb, he's like, VLS, vanish, like, no, 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 that was dumb, <laughs> alright, so I'm done with this video, these last couple of duels are just like, wow, <laughs> get wrecked. You can special summon one level two or uh, higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect the Cosmo Tin Can once per turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, uh, you can pay 500 life points to reveal three Cosmo cards with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to your hand, and you send the rest to the graveyard. So I like Tin Can. That is consistency, and as we know, Cosmo's con consistency is not through the roof. You know, uh, sometimes they they can struggle with uh, you know getting your smaller Cosmo monsters, getting your bigger Cosmo monsters. So Tin Can helps. Tin Can totally helps. So I think out of all the cards revealed, I think I like Tin Can the most. Now, of course, kind of sucks that the other cards are sent to the graveyard because now they're just pooling in the graveyard. But uh, maybe you can go ahead and pull something off with that. So uh, overall. Not too blown away by any of these cards. So, 
what would I what would I run? Uh, and if cards will stay by the time these cards uh, come out on daily duels, uh, I would definitely run three tin can. That's a good one. Tin can's freaking great. Reveal, you give me one, so I'm gonna be plusing anyway. You know, and whether it be you know any pretty much anything I get, I can go ahead and hop tin can out of the way, banish tin can to summon it because you know whatever cosmos monsters I can get, it's level two or higher. So any of my cosmos monsters, whether it be the big ships or the smaller cosmos monsters, I get them. The rest go to the graveyard. All right, but that's consistency. So that's tin can three. I'll definitely uh, to have something to do with the, the thing, the, the tin can. You know, the monsters being. Uh, sent to the graveyard. I think I would go ahead and play one Dark Eclipser, uh, you know, with the high consistency of me able to get it back. Uh, Dark Eclipser and me being able to go ahead and banish my cause monsters to block traps. It can't be targeted, 3000 beater, and it kind of gets me a card from my deck to my hand, kind of floats. Uh, I don't want to clog it up too much. I, you know, I definitely have enough Forerunner, enough Dark Destroyers. So I would definitely just go ahead and uh, play one Eclipser and then Eclipser, banish the monster, block a trap. Cosmo Town giving my Cosmo Monster back to my hand. So just being able to go ahead and uh, banish a Cosmo Monster to block some traps and it being a 3000 beater can't be targeted and I can just easily special summon it, I would run one. Just to have synergy with Tin Can and as a beater and blocking traps and stuff. Uh, I would play zero, zero, and I mean it's zero Delta Shuttle. Just like I don't play any Dogfighter Delta Shuttle, it's just kind of meh. You know, it's like, oh, you can send a Cosmo Monster from your deck to the graveyard to make a monster lose attack to level. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, and if my opponent doesn't have any monsters, I gotta do it to myself, so I don't want to do that either. Uh, I'm totally fine with three uh, Slip Riders popping back row. I don't want Dogfighter, and, uh, you know, I just don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I have enough sending to the graveyard with a uh, triple Tin Can for consistency, so, no. And, uh, Sword, sword Troopers, that's debatable. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'd just run one, like I run one uh, Good Witch and one uh, uh, Scarecrow. Like, they have their niches, they they have their plays, so, you know, if I happen to send a whole bunch of my uh, uh, Cosmo Psychic Type monster to the graveyard, like Farm Girl or something, I can go ahead and just be like, alright, so I'm Trooper, go ahead and pay it off when I play, summon back Farm Girl from the graveyard, then I can be like, banish Farm Girl, summon him, uh, Big Ship, and then banish Storm Trooper, summon one. So I maybe you run one, maybe zero. I don't know, I'd have to test it, but I'm not a big fan of Stormtrooper either. And then the last card, Cosmojo. Uh, Cosmojo, I would probably run... If I was going to run three Cosmojo, because it just seems like a really great card, like your back row could literally just be like three Cosmojo and like three Storm Mirror Force and just fuck up uh, Magic Spectre and the Cosmo Mirror match because uh, you're banishing the monster and you're not targeting it, so you can, you know, fuck up the ships because you're not going to be destroyed by the conflict. So I'd probably run three Cosmojo, three of my tin can, uh, and maybe two of the uh, of the of the darker clusters. Maybe I would up it to two, just because Cosmojo. I'm gonna be putting monsters in my graveyard by uh, you know. Uh, targeting one of my Cosmo monsters, destroying it, uh, possibly, you know, so it's the smaller ones. But I'd probably play three just for the bigger ships, you know. Like, I, I would definitely be playing more of the bigger ships if I was going to play Cosmo Joe. Alright, and that's it. So, uh, and yeah, so no, you saw the link, you saw it at the top. Yes, that is, uh, there's, there's the pen, uh, Pendulum Sorcerer Wizard, whatever his name is. So, uh, well, I don't even know why we're sitting here talking about Cosmos playing Cosmos when PP is literally going to come out and be at full power. PP is going to be fully erect and it's going to destroy the meta and uh, break Earth of meta. Yep. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not boss. It's not break Earth of shadows. It's, it's break Earth of meta. It's, it's boom. Because that's what it's going to do to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Boom. B destroy it. <sighs> the deck's going to be expensive. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about the new Cosmo Monsters uh, releasing boss. Like I said, the link is in the description. If you want to go ahead and look at the cards individually and uh, read the effects yourself. And tell me in the description what you think. Uh, and if you guys have any suggestions, whatever. But like I said, next week we're going to go ahead and do suggestions. After we, that, we're going to go ahead and do uh, uh, the poll. And, you know, if Cosmos stay, they stay. And by the, if they stay by the time new Cosmos cards come out, I can go ahead and alter it back to that. And if they're kind of gone, hey, they're gone. I mean, we've seen plenty of Cosmos here on the channel at this point. So I wouldn't mind. I don't care if they stay or they go. It's up to you guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow tagging using that Kaiser Utopia deck. Uh, joined by, you'll find out. All right, people. Thanks for watching.